when aurangzeb came to know that shah shuja left for bengal with his forces he was very irritated he wanted shah shuja to keep the imperial army as well as the armies of maharaja jay singh and jaswant singh entangled in banaras so that aurangzeb could easily reach agra but shah shuja dashed aurangzeb's plan although both aurangzeb and murad baksh addressed shah shuja as the next king of hindustan in their letters but at the time when shah shuja's forces were fighting with the imperial forces in banaras there were some reports that shah shuja can easily defeat dara so murad baksh got worried murad baksh abandoned his pre decided policy and after killing his wazir ali naki he declared himself as the king of gujarat and got coins minted in his name wazir ali naki was a reliable ally of shah jahan and wali e ahad dara shiko he had to pay the price of his loyalty towards mughal sultanat with his head murad was confident that his elder brother aurangzeb wanted to live the life of a fakir and aulia so he had nothing to do with the crown and throne of the moguls he will accept murad baksh as the king so murad kept reconnaissance of aurangzeb's forces coming from the south on one side and on the other hand he also continued to move slowly In the end Murad stopped at Dipalpur Aurangzeb and Murad's armies merged at Dipalpur and both brothers met each other Aurangzeb encouraged Murad and patted his back for the fact that he had declared himself as the king Aurangzeb explained Murad that Shah Shuja had already fled to Bengal after losing to kafir dara and he could not become a king now therefore murad baksh is the only contender for becoming a king greedy murad was comforted by aurangzeb's talk murad could see the prayer beads in aurangzeb's hand and the namazi cap on his forehead but he could not see his eyes that were full of arkness and hatred towards him murad could not even dream of how the insidious aurangzeb the embodiment of humility will first use murad against dara shiko and then will also send murad to the same place where he had sent his enemies to this day that is in hell when dara shiko heard that the forces of the two rebel princes have arrived in dipalpur dara issued a decree from the emperor that marwar king jaswant singh with his forces should proceed directly from banaras towards dipalpur and try to stop their forces at the northern coast of shipra in ujjain on getting the order of the emperor maharaja jaswant singh moved his forces towards ujjain on one hand maharaja jaswant singh led his way to ujjain and on the other hand wali e ahad dara shiko sent orders to his son suleiman shiko and mirza raja jay singh to reach agra at the earliest after getting the royal decree prince suleiman and mirza raja jay singh started moving towards agra in a tizi meanwhile dara deployed a part of the imperial army to all the outer gates of agra and sent the rest of the army headed by kasim khan towards ujjain to assist maharaja jaswant singh look at the sequel dara shiko and shah jahan the unknown fear